What do you think? Give me the three best attributes that you think make up a great on-field player as a as an athlete, as a football AFL footballer. Skill, leadership, and probably courage. But I don't know if they're too cliched. Where do you think aggression rates into that? Like uh, competitiveness, uh, grit. Probably above them all. Probably above, from what I've learned on this podcast, probably at the top of the tree. I think it. W- I would say Th- those that seem to be the most competitive, therefore the most aggressive, are typically the most successful. Yeah, like our game is a contested game. Yep. Uh, that we play, and uh, courage falls underneath that competitive element, and leadership falls under that competitive element. Like, yep. and, and it and leadership is obviously manifests itself in a different lens in the business world and in the, the family life and things like that. But for the game of football, I found for me to be the best, like I'll give you example of, so my, my mental cues for my mental peak performance were proactive, dominant and physical mm. three things. So when you think about two of those, so proactive, fine. Yep. No worries. You can, you do that in life. You know, you can think forward ahead of making your partner some dinner and cleaning the house and that's proactive. That's great. That's fantastic. But if you are a dominant in your family life, it's not going to lend too well to some, some uh, relationships, is it? No. What about physical? What if you manifest that in your family life? What's I that going to look like? I understand. So to be successful on the football field, I had to be those three things. And that's what made me as a player. And when, if you think about me versus any of the big players that I played on, I took the dangerous space. I was physical. I, I used my body because I wasn't as tall as some of these other guys. So I had to be proactive. I had to be physical and I had to be dominant. So then how do you switch that off? And how do you then go into the change room and um, you got to calm that down? And there was plenty of times where I, I got it wrong with my leadership that I, 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 was, I couldn't be those people. I needed to be loving, empathetic, caring, um, still probably proactive to get on the front foot, um, to, to support things. So that's where the conflict lay with me Hmm. is that on field, I had to be this beast, this dominant person that was, that, that made someone else's day worse. But then when I come off the field, (laughs) I had to be, I want to make your day better. I want to make your life better. So then how do you switch them on and off? And it's, it's, that's, that's what made it hard for me. Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. Now, if you want to hear the full podcast, you can just click on the link directly below. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which would be fantastic, bang, click right there. And if you want to see more clips, highlights, and updates from the Howie Games, just go that way. Thanks so much. As always, take it easy and peace and love.